this place literally saved my life. A health clinic is saving lives in central Pennsylvania. Tonight, we're getting an inside look at the facility. And CBS 21's Bryant Madrick shows us this clinic is in a place many people wouldn't expect. Philip Roberts is a dying man, but you wouldn't know it by looking at him. I am happy, peaceful, content. These are characteristics you wouldn't expect from a person diagnosed with stage 4 liver cancer. Robert says heavy drinking and drugs were a likely contributor. Well, September they gave me six months to live, then October 14th, two months to live, estimated. And uh, there's nothing they can do, you know, but I'm still happy. He says, it's only God through me, you know I mean? These people have been a blessing here. Those people are medical students, nurses, and doctors who work and volunteer their time at this clinic inside Bethesda Mission. A lot of the cases that they're going to see here, clinically speaking, you wouldn't see in the United States except in a big city or going to a third world country where people don't have access to good care. This place literally saved my life. In October, Fred Joyce came to the clinic and was diagnosed with prostate cancer. My cancer was what the doctor called aggressive, meaning that my prostate is completely ate up. Uh, the next stage would be to operate, but, but me being 61 years old, they didn't want to take a chance to operate. Joyce has undergone numerous rounds of chemotherapy and is confident he'll beat his cancer. Roberts knows his time is running out, so he's making the time he has count. I just hope that God uses me sometime throughout that day to put a smile on someone else's face, like he did yesterday. We had people come in from the street, off the street and eat here, and we mixed together, and uh, there were a lot of smiles. One lady put her arms around me with tears and said, you really blessed my day. You know, it's, it's, it's a joy. It's a joy. My life today is a joy. Bethesda officials say they don't offer walk-ins, and if you don't live at the mission, you have to make an appointment. The medical facility runs entirely off of grants, and if you have insurance or the ability to pay, you're encouraged to do so. Reporting in Harrisburg, Brian Tamadric, CBS 21 News.